when Warner Brothers, Brothers and Paramount merge, which is going to happen because with the Disney Fox merger, movie studios the only are just going to have to get bigger back. and bigger and bigger. You're pitching the Trump, Trump the motion picture. What is the vision for this movie? Is it a comedy? Is it a musical? What is the story? What's the point of view? Mm -hmm. Is it from the point of view of not necessarily Trump, but people on the outside? Well, is, do I have my producer hat on or my studio hat on? Uh, you can you can actually take you could take one off. You're selling it, so yeah. producer. So, selling. So the movie I want to make is a movie that maybe brings us together, and it's some kind of Romeo and Juliet story about young campaign workers who fall in love, and it's like a Parkland kids, and they somehow bring us all together, and nobody will ever make that movie, <laughs> um, which is sad. So then the movie that I want to make is just any movie, right? And then for that, I need money. And so part of the problem with that is I think that audiences are as polarized as the voter. You're not going to get everybody to see this movie, in my opinion. And the people who didn't show up for all the liberal, good-hearted movies like Michael Moore's last movie we were talking about, Fahrenheit 11.9, probably won't show up for a Trump movie at this point. I have two visions for a Trump movie that I'd like to see. I think the one is the obvious one. You, you've got to do Citizen Trump, which is basically Citizen Kane, right? The view of some reporter, the enemy, and you'll need, you'll find out. I mean, Rosebud was, of course, the thing that Charles Foster Kane lost as a young boy. Spoiler that, alert. Right. Sorry. Sorry to ruin that. But there's, <laughs> there's got to be something that made Trump the way he is, that he, something he lost as a child. He's clearly has issues but what is it what was i don't think it's going to be necessarily as something as glorious as a as a sled but i would love to know what that thing the I, thing that he lost and what his was hair? Is it, is his hair his hair right now his hair that's true i i think it's the opposite Really? I don't think he lost anything because I don't think he had an attachment to anything because I don't think he ever got to a moment where he needed to be attached to anything. Which, when you grow up that rich, there is no one little thing. Charles Foster Kane grew up relatively poor, and having that nice sled, oh. sorry guys, um, was a big deal for him. There is nothing in Donald Trump's life from when he was a kid, in any of the, bi uh, the biographies he's written, certainly nothing in Art of the Deal, which I read in the 90s, there's nothing in it where he was like, it was that thing that I had that I hung on to, or this brass ring. It's not, not J.J. Abrams' mystery box. It's not, um, you know, something he was denied. He didn't give a shit about pets. He didn't have one. I think it's he, he had everything. I think if there's a rosebud for Trump, it's a pile of shit he doesn't care about. It, it's basically the hoarding of a rich person staring at a pile of stuff going I'm angry that I'm so I'm miserable because none of this made me happy like it was supposed to well the other the other vision I'd like to see first of all those are great studio notes Hal but the other vision I'd like to see is just something completely wacky which is a reboot of They Live uh, oh which God. I think is one of my all time favorite yes. films where we find out that on the okay, fucking glasses. the Republicans right. are all aliens from another planet. This would just be a reboot, right? Mm -hmm. It would be a reboot. And then They're Trump not. isn't even a human. Trump is just a robot that is constantly malfunctioning, which is why he does not speak in, in full sentences. There are Did many. Eddie Murphy already do that movie? Precisely. Yeah, yes. right. With the... it, but there are all sorts of Trump bots. They're always breaking down. Uh, it's, it's how he's able to just fly all over the country and have endless bounds of energy. The Trump bot is constantly tweeting. I just want some fantasy science fiction version of Trump's story that would be both funny and frightening. Well, there's the Manchurian be Candidate version. What's that? There's, there's the... the Manchurian Candidate version. Well, that's certainly. true. That's true. I mean, that there's you could go straight MK Ultra with it. That's kind of cool. You know, start with you know this kind of chubby semi-balding comb over -y real estate guy in 1993 or whatever sitting in a chair with his eyes popped open with just strobe lights going in his face you know and someone off camera you know reading whatever the checklist for winter soldier was right right you know, yeah elevator <laughs> chicken sandwich i like the fefe like, <laughs> I think that's, that should be the name of the movie, Kofefe. Kofefe. Yeah, that's right. That's a great idea. Well, that's... let's talk about casting. Well, Kanye is Ben Carson. Oh. <laughs> okay. I could or just totally himself, see that. I guess. No, that Kanye will too. only play Kanye. Kanye will play Kanye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, um, I, I looked this up because I didn't remember the name, uh, so I had to be completely honest. Uh, the, the director that I would choose for this, um, Panos Cosmatos. Oh, who did Mandy. Who just did Mandy. And yeah. That brings me to the man who could carry 
who everyone in the world would watch play Donald Trump. Nicholas Cage. Oh, <laughs> everyone wow. would have to go, I don't know if I'm gonna like this or hate this, but I have to fucking see that. <laughs>